If you're trying to decide between Notion and Confluence for your company or personal documentation source of all information, then this video is for you. I'm Natalie Lucier, and I'm the founder of Access Ally, which is a WordPress-based solution for online course creators who want to have memberships, do group coaching programs, and run their communities all in one place. So why am I so excited about comparing Notion to Confluence, and why is it going to help you do so much better in your business or personal life? So here's what I found. When you have a company wiki or a central source of information, which you can use a ton of different systems for, both Notion and Confluence are great options for as well. But here's the thing. Once you have all of this information in one place, your business can run so much smoother. And we've definitely seen that. We've had new paid interns who come into our company and say, wow, everything is so organized in your business. How is this possible? I've never seen this before. And I attribute all of that success and all of that organization to the system that we use. And I'll let you know which one we use in a minute. But first, let's talk about the comparison and the difference between Notion and Confluence and who they are built for. So first of all, Notion is a newer player in the space, and they've only been around for a few years, but they have a lot going for it. I love Notion's interface and user experience because it is so clean, it's modern, it's really fun. They've got emojis, they've got all kinds of things that you can do in like different columns in different ways, and it just feels very snappy and good to use. It also has a very minimalist vibe, which is great because you can keep things simple, everything will look consistent across the board, and you can have different people on your team create things or update things, and they will all look really good. In fact, some people even use Notion to publish their website, so they might use a couple of Notion pages and make those public for a job posting, for example, or even for their public documentation for their company. Now, when it comes to Confluence user interface and just the design of it overall, it has come a long way. So we've personally been using Confluence for many, many years in my business as our company wiki. And to be honest, in the beginning, it was kind of meh, but it has come such a long way. And I really think that Notion itself is pushing Confluence to focus more on its design and its interface. They've added little cover images and you can also add emojis and do a lot more that you used to be able to not do in Confluence thanks to Notion's influence on the marketplace. Now let's talk about what these tools were designed for. So Confluence was designed to be an all-in-one source of information for your company. And it integrates with other tools like Jira, which is great for project management and planning tasks and work, which is something that we used in the past, but we recently switched to ClickUp. So if you wanna watch my video that talks about what we use for our project management, definitely watch that video now. But here's the thing, Confluence is really built to do one thing and one thing well and that is organizing your company wiki and keeping all of that information in one place. You can have meeting notes, you can have documentation, you can have all kinds of things, but as long as it is sort of a written or even video type piece of content that you wanna have available and editable across your whole team, then Confluence is there for it. Now, on the other hand, Notion tries to do a little bit more than Confluence because it has more advanced databases, Kanban boards, and just a little bit more functionality that you might find in other tools like Jira, for example, or Asana or other types of project management tools. Now, what that means is it's more powerful. Notion has a lot more functionality, but it also could be a little bit harder and have a steeper learning curve. So if you're not sure how to use it, or you have this great idea, but you have to train your whole team to figure it out, it can be a little bit more complicated to use Notion in that way. Now, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to my friend, Marie Poulain, who is the creator of Notion Mastery. And there are so many amazing free and paid resources on learning Notion and templates and all of that stuff. So if you are geeking out over Notion, you wanna find out more, definitely go and check her out. I'll put a link to to her website below. Now let's talk about pricing for both of these options. So Notion has a free plan for one user. So that means it's great if you wanna use it personally. And that's what I do. I have a Notion account and I use both the app on my computer and also the desktop version to just you know go ahead and organize my personal stuff. I use it to plan my permaculture projects and farm projects and just kind of keep track of important dates and things like that that I wanna keep track of personally. Now, 
Now, if you do want to add a team, then you start paying per team member. For Confluence, they have a free plan for up to 10 team members. And that's really amazing if you're a young company and you want to have more people collaborating with you in your business and just have everything all in one place. That is why we went with Confluence and initially went with Confluence because Notion didn't exist yet. But I also feel like Confluence is great for teams and it is designed more for that team workflow. So there's comments, there's all kinds of notifications that you can have you know, directly in your email, in Slack and other integrations. And it's such a great way to really collaborate with a team. I love it for our meeting notes. I love it for keeping track of the work that we're doing and upcoming releases. We really have everything centralized in one place when it comes to Confluence. We even have onboarding checklists for our paid interns or new employees that come into our business. And that just makes a huge difference. Now, once you get above 10 users, yes, you will start paying per month per user, just like you would with Notion. Now let's talk about templates. So Confluence comes with some built-in templates for common things like maybe a marketing meeting notes or your end of year planning, all of that stuff. And you can also create your own templates, which is something that we use quite regularly with the way that we run our Confluence. So we use it for our meeting notes, we use it for planning projects or software development efforts, and it's just been really wonderful. Now Notion also has templates and the cool thing is you can also share them and you can find a lot of free downloadable templates for Notion. So that is one of the things I think Notion has done really, really well is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There's definitely something out there for you. As you can see, Notion has a lot of information for teams and context and building workflows and roadmaps and also sharing those publicly if you want to make them as, for example, an open position on your website where you're hiring and all of that is pretty cool. Now, the thing that I think really sets Notion apart, in my opinion, is really the resources and also uh, the templates that other people have created. So you can see here, they have templates of the month, they have Notion picks, they've done all kinds of stuff to just make it easier to get started with different ideas and ways to use the system so you don't have to come up with your ideas yourself, which I think is a little bit tricky when you're trying to organize all of the information for either your business or even your personal life. And some of these are paid, which is also interesting. Um, so it's sort of a marketplace that you can go and grab things from. And you can use either the web version or you can also use more of a desktop version, which is the one I prefer to use. So you can see here, these are some things that we have that I'm sharing with my husband on our tree planting initiatives and other things that we're doing, for example, like our livestock or chickens or beekeeping, um, all of the different options that, that we're looking at for our farm and garden. And some of the things that make Notion so fun are really the design options here. So you can change this cover. You can choose from some of these options that they've already uploaded for you. You can upload your own or link to something. And, you know, it just makes it really cool to be able to have different designs and backgrounds. And also these little emojis are really great. You can kind of at a glance, see where things are and link to things. So these are all sub pages essentially in this project. And you can see here that you can turn links into pages. If you have, let's say a block of stuff that you wanna just segment out into a different page, you can also have all those types of formatting here for headings, to-do lists, bulleted lists, numbered lists. You can have code directly in here. You can have quotations and a synced block where it will sync across different pages, which just makes it super convenient to have a dashboard, for example, where you have all of your high level data shown on one page and then have people update it across different pages, for example. And you can also do columns and toggle headings and all kinds of stuff. So it's really just going to be a beautiful way to organize and keep things all in one place. So I do love the interface so much for Notion. I think that's one of the things that it really rocks at. And you can also see that they do have team spaces. So if you have different teams that you're a part of, or you can have different subsections for different, say, departments or things like that. And that can definitely work really well in the way that you organize things as well. And here you can see that Confluence is a product by the Atlassian company. So that's one of the things that I think 
makes it sort of a bigger player in this space because they also have other products like Jira and uh, Trello and other systems that really integrate well with Confluence and natively. So I think that's where Confluence also shines a little bit more is that it's not necessarily built in and those other tools may cost more money depending on, you know, how many team members you have. Some of those plans might be free too. So you can see really like all the templates that they have. These are tend to be a little bit more business focused and more software focused sometimes, but there's definitely a lot to be learned for how to do some things using these templates that is essentially like learning how to run your business by following you know what big businesses are able to do in the way that they put their processes together so i do like how all of this really integrates well with the other tools that we use like slack and google drive and it's just a very smooth experience when you're using confluence and also when it comes to confluence you can have different spaces so we have different companies for example where we have slightly different processes for each of them and you can see this is our access ally ecosystem and kind of how we've organized things for our business you can also see that we have shortcuts for say our meeting notes our product requirements and it's just a really cool way to be able to come in here and see all of the things that we have going so this is an example of a template that we have for our weekly marketing meeting notes and sales meeting notes. And these are super easy to create using the templates. So if you come up here, you can see all of the templates that are built into Confluence. You can create your own templates and that makes just a huge difference in how quickly you're able to whip up, let's say a meeting note page or uh, a retrospective page or a nanny day plan. Like there's all these options built into Confluence. And then when you're editing, you can also uh, come in and you know do all of the things that you would expect like headings and colors and uh, status type things that you can add in here. So uh, you can see there's a lot that's built into Confluence and you can link out to other pages or to internal pages and even start typing and you know linking back to other pages so it's really easy to interlink in confluence even though i do feel like notion interlinks a little bit better in some ways but i do feel like the the basics are really available in confluence and it really does what it's supposed to do well so to me it has a lot of benefits to that as well and you can also um, link to jira directly if you have jira you can also insert info panels calendars um, just Jira, uh, Trello boards if you're using Trello as well. So there's just a lot of cool stuff that you can do right within Confluence as well. And you can also organize things and move things from one place to another quite easily. So sometimes you need to archive or uh, move things to different places and reorganize. And also you'll notice that they recently added the header image thing. So this is a lot like what uh, Notion has as well at the top and they can add emojis as well. So again, this is kind of similar. I think they're just trying to copy Notion a little bit, but I do feel like it adds some uh, appeal to the way Confluence works. So you can kind of see that as well in, in the sidebar here too. So it just makes it a little bit more visual and it's not as default as it is in Notion, but I think it can make things way cooler. Now, I really wanna help you decide between Notion and Confluence and which of the two is gonna be the right one for you. And I think it really comes down to your use case and who is going to be using it. So if you plan to use it solo, I highly recommend Notion. I think if you and maybe one or two other people need to use it, I think Notion is the perfect platform for that kind of system and you can document all of your company processes or your personal processes and goals and all of that in one place. Now, if you really want to scale your business or you're a small team and you know you're going to be adding people on, then I highly recommend Confluence because it has that room to grow. It has that semi-enterprise backing to it. It has a much bigger company behind it as well. And I feel like because of that, it's going to be there super long term and it's going to keep getting better for sure too. So personally, I'm sticking with Confluence Confluence, but I also love Notion for personal projects as well. So I hope this really helped you decide between Notion and Confluence, which of the two you want to go with. And if you want to see an example of what our wiki actually looks like in Confluence, then go ahead and watch that video all about our company wiki and how we organize it right now.